What is good friends, back with game 3 between Bio and Googly for Smog 25 playoffs round 1. We got pretty standard Mora balance on Bio's side versus Vale. I do think Googly has the matchup advantage here. Zygarde behind screens can break through with checks, especially with the berry. Um, I think it's a Guav berry. And yeah, if it weakens Landris, that's not too big. But if it weakens Clef, that might be big because that can open up the Halucha. The Halucha can set up a SD on either the Heatran or the Landris. Especially behind screens. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need screens though um, Because it gets a spadef boost um, From the psychic seat so it can um, potentially eat up magma storm from the heatran Also, I can see Megina plus thunderous potentially overpowering the gastron if they set up If they set up nasty plot, it can potentially weaken gastro for Megina If they set up CM, it could potentially weaken gastron for thunderous. You guys get what I'm trying to say But yeah, leads here, I would th assume either heatran or Morwell lead for Black Oblivion because you don't want to let the Ninetales get up a free Aurora Veil turn 1. So this is a 4 attacks Mega Morwell. If he didn't change the set, it's Iron Head, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch and Fire Fang. So he should just go for Iron Head. I assume we see the Aurora Veil from Googly uh, because if he goes for Hypnosis, he risks missing. Exactly. And yeah, he just gets popped turn 1 by the Iron Head. Not surprised that the um, Ninetales went down there because it's stabbed super effective Iron Head from a huge power. Mega Morwell and Alolan Ninetales doesn't have the best Fizz death. So yeah, obviously he gets destroyed. But yeah, now Morwell mega already and lost the Intimidate, which means it cannot lower the attack anymore from Halucha. And also took some chip damage from Hale. So uh, he has to be really careful that he keeps his Clefable healthy, otherwise Halucha can just destroy him. So Zygarde comes out. Um, he should just Ice Punch because he does live a thousand arrows from this range. Um, Google makes a smart play um, going for Coil um, Behind Veil it allows him to eat up an Ice Punch. So now Morwell takes another round of Hale. Um, I think you have two plays if you're Black Oblivion. You either stay in an Ice Punch, preventing this from setting up more. Like, it potentially... Um, like, I could see the... Sub coming out from Googly to get the Agraf Berry. Or I could see him coiling again um, to live another Ice Punch and get the Agraf Berry that way. And yeah, Beos plays either staying in Ice Punch, not let the setup for free, or it's go Landris to get off the Intimidate and spam HP Ice from there. Mm, I mean, the only thing that you need more for is, I guess it helps you check Tapu Lele. But that depends, because if the Lele is Z-move, it might just be able to beat the Morwell anyways. So I think I think it might just be the play to stay in an Ice Punch. Um, that way you don't allow the Zyga to, to set up more. Because Morwell isn't doing too much in this game. That's how I see it. And yeah, if you want to keep Morwell, then you can go Landris to get the Intimidate and spam HPS from there, like I said. But those are the only plays, I think. But yeah, as we know, you see this is a Coil Zygarde. Uh, I assume it's a Dragon Dance Coil variant. It is sub as well. So it's probably um, sub called Dragon Dance Thousand Arrows. Or it could be... Um, yeah, if it didn't have sub, it could have had E-Speed. But I think if it's sub and Coil, it's pretty obvious that it has to be DD and Thousand Arrows as well. But yeah, he goes in the Clef, which I'm surprised by. Now he's forced to Moonblast. Um, but yeah, Google can set up here again because he um, at plus one thousand arrows does around I think 48 to Clef. He wants to set up more so he can break through the Clef. Yeah, like I don't agree with that play because if you let the Clef get weakened, um, like I said, the Halucha does just beat Black Oblivion then. But yeah, now you have to Moonblast because you obviously can't let this set up for free. And there's the Dragon Dance. So Dragon Dance calls up and thousand arrows obviously. So Google can just start spamming Thousand Arrows here, I think. And Black Oblivion should not stay in and let us get weakened. Like, now the Zygarde is at plus 2, which means if he goes Landro, it's at plus 1. Like, earlier if he went Landro, it would have um, been at neutral. I mean, then he would have... Um, yeah, I think it doesn't make a huge difference, probably. Uh, like, guess he that does 54, Landro gets 2 hit KO'd. Um, And I think um, this is looking pretty bad for Bio because it's just thousand arrows again. This is Scarf Lando because he can, so he can obviously HPI see outspeed Zygarde, but that's not gonna do too much to Zygarde. Maybe, maybe twenty eight percent or something like that. Maybe a bit less even because it's in Veil and like the Zygarde probably runs some HP investment as well. So this is gonna bounce off this HPI. I could see it doing like twenty four or something like that. And if Googly wants to, um, he can probably even DD again, or he can just Thousand Arrows. And he still has some turns of Veil. Yeah, yeah, you probably just Thousand Arrows and then... 
after that Black Oblivion is forced to go into his clef most likely and then it takes the hit that Googly needs on it and then Halucha just wins. Like I don't really see how Black Oblivion can prevent that. He goes for HPS. Ooh, that's, that's a huge crit. Okay, that changes things a bit. That crit uh, definitely mattered. Um, obviously ignores the Aurora Veil. Uh, that would have done pitiful damage otherwise if he didn't get that crit. Thing is, um, Google has a lot of options now. I assume Tabu Lele is gonna come out. Um, because that way, um, you know the Landris is locked into HPIs, that's why you get up the Psychic Terrain. And you can, um, yeah, I expect the Heatron to come out here from Black Oblivion. You can um, either just Psyshock down, or it's a CM Lele, okay, cool. So now I expect either Psyshock, Psychic down, if he doesn't have Focus Blast. If he has Focus Blast, he can also go for that. Um, if he's Psychium Z or Pummeling Z, um, that's also an option. Like I said, I think, I don't know if I said that yet, but I think either the Lele or the Sundress is probably the Z-move user. Yeah, Heatran is gonna get popped pretty much here. Um, like, Heatran can't do anything back to the Lele, this is a Magma Storm, Taunt, will always Earth Power Heatran. Focus Blast misses, so we see Fire um, fire Z from Heatran, I know that's Fire Rim, because it's a sample team, um, it's a well-known team. That does absolutely nothing to the Lele, but now the Veil um, wears off, and the next Focus Blast connects, Bob. And now, um, Hurricane from Tornadis does nothing because he has a CM up, and I don't know how, what, what is Black Oblivion's play? Landris and U-turn probably. Um, because if he loses Gastron, then he gets um, destroyed by Megiana. And also by Thunderous, so he can't go Gastron. Also, Gastron would probably get destroyed by Psyshock or Psychic even. Yeah, I think the only play is Landris and U-turn. I guess Tornadoes and Fish for Hurricane Confusion, but that's not reliable at all. Yeah, I think Landris and U-turn. Then you have to sack something. And then U-turn again if that kills, I guess. Because you cannot lock yourself into Earthquake with Landris, because then um, Halucha gets a free... SD and the game ends right there pretty much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this Halucha, this Halucha beats Clef even easier than I thought it would because it, it does get the Spadef boost, which means it eats up a Moonblast. Damn. That means um, if Halucha is at full, it can SD. And then if Clef comes out, Moonblast doesn't even kill and Acrobatics at plus 2, 2 it kills the Clef. Yeah, this game is over. <laughs> Like he already he already hacks the Zygarde down that that was annoying for Googly, but damn Veil is disgusting. Holy shit! Like Halucha should be able to win this game pretty easy. Like what? So he goes Landris and I think he has to U-turn. Like I said, because if he earthquakes, if he earthquakes, the Halucha comes in afterwards and just bops him. Um, I think Googly. If you Googly, you just stay in here because what do you lose? If he U-turns, uh, you get another kill with Psyshock or Psychic. And if he Earthquakes and that for and that kills you, then you go Halucha and destroy him from there. So yeah, you should just stay in here. Click Psychic Step, Psyshock or Psychic, like I said, depending on what you have. We don't know that yet. Uh, I assume the Thunderous is Z-move at this point, because the Lele didn't go for all out Pummeling or um, Psychium Z versus the Heatran. So this Lele might be Twisted Spoon or something like that, not sure. Yeah, like, so like I said, Bio's play is U-turn, he can't do anything else. If he off-cracks, Halucha comes in and destroys him afterwards. And yeah, Googly, like I said, can just stay in here. If the, um, <clears throat> what's it called? If the Landros kills him with off-quick, then Halucha sets up afterwards and pretty much just cleans the game from there. Um, because it does get the Spadef boost, which means uh, Clefabit's Moonblast doesn't kill it. And a plus to hit two skills to Clef with Acro, like I said. Damn, I really thought earlier, earlier I thought he needs chip on the clef, but he doesn't even need that because it's a uh, psychic seed which gives it a spadef boost. Dang. And yeah, if the land with U-turns, which is Bio's only play, like I said, the Lele gets a kill here with Sasha or Psychic. So, um... Hmm. I guess he's thinking through the end game. I don't know. So if you U-turn here, if you're Black Oblivion, what do you sack? 
Do you sack tornadoes or do you sack? Hmm. I mean, I don't really see an out for Black Oblivion. I don't really like. He can't really win this. So Google goes hard into Halucha. Black Oblivion makes his only play, which is U-turn. So Black Oblivion makes the correct play. Um, Google would have just, like I said, gotten the kill with Lele if he stayed in. And if Lele got killed, he could have gotten set up after with Halucha. But going hard Halucha was a misplay because now he doesn't have a SD boost. Mora um, comes out. And Mora can just click Thunder Punch because it destroys the Halucha. He doesn't have to risk missing Ice Punch or Thunder Punch. Um, yeah, and Halucha can only high jump kick here. He cannot SD. Like, that was a huge misplay by Googly. Um, it's not over yet, but he, he definitely misplayed there. Okay, so now um, Tapu Lele should come out because Tapu Lele has no switch ins and it should be able to kill the Marvel at this range. Heatran is already down. Like, if he goes Thunderous, yeah, Thunderous and Setup is an option as well, but nah, that's, that's not because the, the Gastrum is still at full and you risk the Marvel staying. And if you go Thunderous to Setup, so Lele is definitely the play here. Yeah, like, first, Googly, I guess Googly maybe um, misplayed because he got. Um, He's annoyed that he got crit on the on the Zygarde, maybe? Maybe that's that that's why? I don't know exactly. But yeah, going hard Halucha was never the play on the U-turn. So yeah, Lele comes out. Um, I guess Psychic should be able to kill this. That way he doesn't have to risk missing a Focus Blast. And yeah, Black of is just gonna sack this. So is Z-move? Pummeling? What? Why did he not go for that on the Heatran? Like, I don't understand this game. <laughs> what the fuck? So now Landris comes out. Um, is most likely gonna click U-turn because if he clicks off quick, the Sunris comes in for free. Um, so this is um, the scenario again that we had earlier where Googly can just stay in and click a Psychic step, Sashok or Psychic. We still don't know which one he has. He can just click that and get huge damage on something. And um, this time he's not gonna get a kill though because he doesn't have a CM boost. So this is a um yeah exactly this tornado is HP invested and is able to eat up that Psy Shock. And now um I guess Black Oblivion has to try to hit a hurricane here. I don't think U-turn would kill because this is a timid tornado. So Google is probably gonna go to his Thunderous here. Um I assume we're gonna see U-turn or Hurricane. Yeah, we see a Hurricane miss. Okay. They would not have done too too much. The Thunderous might be bulk invested. I could see this being um Either Nasty Plot Super Attacks or Double Dance. So he's gonna U-turn into Gastron, that's his only play, pretty obvious. So there's the Nasty Plot. Um, so Gastron is gonna spam Scald, he could also hard Toxic. I think spamming Scald is the better play. Um, there's no Veil, so Scald is gonna do a good amount to the Thunderous. So Googly's play here, it depends on his set. If he has Grass Knot, he can pop the Gastron, but I think he doesn't have it. I think he has um, T-Ball and HP Ice. But yeah, if he has HP Flying or Grass Knot, one of the two, then he can probably beat this Gaster and only one relatively easy. So he Nasty Plots again, and yeah, he doesn't have Grass Knot, he would have gone for it if he has it. Gaster gets a burn, that's annoying for Googly. Now the um, the Thunderous can just start attacking here because it has, it's at plus four, right? So um, you do a lot at plus four with Hidden Power, Ice or Flying. Uh, I assume he has Ice, Hidden Power, Ice. So you should just go for that. Back of Living doesn't really have... Counterplay. Uh, Gastron can live one, but if Gastron gets low, then Magina can destroy him. Especially now, Mobile and Heatran are already dead. Magina is super opened up if Gastron gets weakened. So, even though he got hexed and he um, did misplay with his Halucha, Googly still has a shot to win this, which is crazy. Um, and he also only had 8 turns of Veil, like his Nantas died early. If he, imagine if he could have reset up the Veil, like how much easier he could have had gotten several opportunities with his mod with his mods if he reset the Veil. So this just hidden power that does 67. Um, we see the Skull. And now Ooh, it's Magoberry Thundee. Ooh yeah yeah yeah. It's it's not Z because the Lily was Z. So now you just click the hidden power, you just spam it and you get a kill. Like There's no reason to do anything, you just hidden power spam. He either sacked, like he can't sack Gastron because then he loses to Magina. So I assume we see either the, the Tornado sack or the Clefable sack, one of the two. Clefable can maybe do something versus the Magina if the Magina is not CM. If the Magina is CM, it beats the Clef. So it, hmm. It's either sack Clef or sack Torn. I think it's sack Clef because Tornado at least outspeeds. Hmm. You also have Scarf Lando to outspeed the uh, Tapu Lele, but Tornadus, um, 
gives you another speed control. So he agilities, which I don't understand, to take another scald. And now he only has two more turns left and then he has to burn. He should have just hidden power there, he would have gotten a kill. So he, he hidden power is now. And yes, he does get that kill. He does. Um, obviously, Black Oblivion should just sack the clef because he let it take the HPIs. So yeah, Google can HPIs again. He popped the clef. But I don't understand why he agility. He didn't need to. Like, what? Like, he wanted to boost. He wanted to boost his speed. Um, that way he can outspeed the Scarf Landris. I get that. But he didn't have to. Because he would have just gotten rid of the clef. And he might have been out of range from HPIs anyway. Okay, okay, so he, he keeps the Sunrise, goes into Megina, um, breaking, I guess, a Moonblast. And it works out because Black Abelian was willing to sack the Torn there, not the Clef. That was odd as well because why w would you keep 11% Megina instead of the Torn? That was really weird. And now um, Megina gets up a CM here. And if this has uh, Focus Blast, it might be able to beat the Gastron now. We see it's. Um, it's not leftovers Megina, so it's either Sugar Berry or um, a berry that heals at 50% once it gets to 25. So he does CM up again, predicting the recover, okay. So that tells us he probably doesn't have he doesn't have focus blast, right? He's um yeah yeah, he's CM shift gear most likely. I mean after he showed CM I should have known that he's CM shift gear. Uh, most likely he bolt beam. He could also be like something like Flurk and T Bolt, I could also see that. He CMs again, which I don't understand. He should have just attacked there. Like unless he unless he has Flurken and that kills Gastron at plus three, he should have just uh, attacked. So is he bolt beam or is he? Oh, he's ice beam. So he's bolt beam. And yeah, he, he just gets two killed. Like I don't understand what's going on because he CM'd again. He should have just ice beamed at turn um at turn twenty three because that way you would have gotten the chance to freeze the Gastron twice at least. And if you see him again, then Ice Beam, you only get the chance to freeze one, once. Yeah, so like, I don't really understand this game. They were like, after Google gets crit, um, Hazalucha should have won the game, but he threw it hard into the um, Landers instead of um, playing it smart and staying in with the Lele. And also his Thunderous, he agilityed earlier, when Thunderous could have um, just killed the Gastron right there. And open up the Megina that way, because we could see now that the Megina couldn't really touch the Gastron, it was CM Bolt Beam. Um, we don't know if it was Shuka or was it the Berry? Do we know that? I don't know if we know that. But yeah, that was a bit confusing to me. And Black Oblivion wins this set 2 and 1. Um, definitely Haxi, but it is cheese and I hate Veil, so I'm not too sad that, <laughs> that Googly lost. Um, but it obviously sucks. Like, if I was Googly, I would be super mad right now. But yeah, Black Oblivion moves on to round two. Congratulations. Um, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I have... Um, like, if you want to see more Smoktus playoffs, or if you want to see OLT, um, I know I uploaded one of the round eight matches, only game one. So if you want the rest of the set, let me know. Or if you want the shot on live, like, just let me know if you want Smoktus, OST, playoffs, um, uh, I mean round eight, or a shot on live next video. And I'll see what I can do for you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys later.